Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Slice and Dice, one of the most underrated strategy roguelikes out there. If this is your first time seeing this game, you are in for a treat. Uh, so we're in the middle of a run here, but don't worry, I can catch you up to speed here. We have five different characters, all that have their own unique sets of dice and uh, potentially items on them as well to modify their faces of the dice even more. So we have the juggler. Basically, whenever we roll the die... We don't even have to keep the die. If we just roll past something, we will get an effect either doing two damage, and then we can roll the die again and potentially do two more damage just by keeping on rolling. Or we also have one shield on there. We have the soldier who normally just does a bunch of damage and has some shields, but we have a couple items on that make it so we have a giant hammer dealing five damage and a heal cleanse. We've got the guardian who is basically a guardian. They're here to, you know, protect everybody. We have AOE protection, a little bit of AOE damage, and then some shielding and a little bit of growing abilities that we added from items. Disciple who is our healer with mana regeneration, a little bit of uh, possibility to revive and then Kronos who is absolutely wild basically just potentially gives us more re-rolls um, which is very very fun also we have the ability to make Kronos just double somebody else's dice so that is all that we've got going on right now you are all caught up let us uh let's die now <laughs> let's go ahead and just uh beef it okay so bandit is how do you work again? Fleas, if uh, adjacent monsters overkilled by two or more, that could be fun. I feel like the cleave shield is a no-brainer for now. Uh, I feel like going for this is a no-brainer. The question is, do we want to dupe it? So we do uh, we do five damage, and then we could potentially do five damage again on somebody else. Uh, it could be a good way to just do a lot of damage this turn. That'd be very handy. Um... Man, if we could just do one damage over here, though, be really nice. I think I'm going to keep this. Oh, boy. That's not what you want to see. Okay. Um. So how do I, how do, I do this, then? How do I do this? We might want to dupe our shielding. So, like... That's pretty nice. It does not even keep the soldier alive, though, which is pretty scary. We can only hit the bandit because it is the one that has the most HP. Uh, all monsters get plus one to all sides. Oy, oy, oy. We've got a large amount of danger coming in. I think we are going to need to just do the big smack here. And then dupe the AoE shield. Alternatively, we can hit the bandit with the one, and then we could hit the, the war chief instead. Which could be better. But we don't have a lot of ways to do big damage to get that overflow kill thing that it's talking about. We don't really have good ways to do that. Um, and we can't... Can't kill anybody. Since we can't hit one of those. Oof, this is just awkward. This is just very awkward then. If we smack kill the bandit, would that even help us? Not quite. Wow. Right off the bat, we got we got a disgusting turn. Uh, soldier dies if we don't protect it. We have so much poison coming in, it's going to be basically impossible to protect ourselves from all of that. Uh, but since I don't want the soldier to literally die this turn already, I guess we're going to be going for that. Um, otherwise... Okay, so if we get that 5 damage big smack again... I don't know, I think we're gonna go with this. Oh, boy. This is terrible. This is terrible. Three poison! Every single turn now. For the rest of the entire fight we have to deal with because of that. Oh, my God. Uh, double heal, I think, is probably gonna be something we have to take. Heal and cleanse. And then Kronos' ability. Did you... Are you for real? The juggler rolled this one out of six side. How many times in a row? Um, what? Okay, so you're going to be poisoning over there, which is obviously awful. 
I think we need to do a heal and a cleanse there. Two heals helps save. Four shields. So you're going to be taking an obscene amount of damage no matter what here. So we could go at like that, save your life a bit. Um, yeah, that's not very good though. That was just a whole turn of um, stopping damage, which is never a good sign. Like the fact that we have two people dying before we even get to play here. 10 plus three, please let me kill something. I think those might be must-takes. Alright. Two damage. At this point, I, I almost think I have to. Um, we could kill that. Become immune to damage this turn. That's not going to be great. Uh, but if I take this, we might be able to prevent bent two people from dying. The heal is already pretty good. This I'm almost thinking we have to... Well, that prevents a lot of damage. It's a kill and it prevents a lot of damage. Okay, so you still get to do your thing, which is great. Alright, so there's, there's that. So now what are we dealing with? Who can we keep alive? I guess we want to wait a second. Potentially. Because we have a buff on here, which is plus two to all shield size whenever there's four or more monsters, which there obviously currently are. Um, we're not going to be able to kill that ghost, so we'll do this. Dupe it to save you as well. Oh my god, that's huge. This guardian is screwed, though. Like, the guardian and the juggler are just sort of, sort of screwed. Like, I'm not going to be able to protect myself from that much damage. The good news is we might be able to get somewhere next turn, finally. Uh, after a hell of a lot of a mess. Holy crap. Double heal, probably worth it no matter what. Double mana? It's a kill on you. Probably worth it. More than anything else at this point. We can't save with that. We're already going to be saving with this. We just need better. Okay. Boom. Burst. We have glow. Replace blank size with heal and shield. Not relevant right now. One damage. Uh, one AoE slow. I think bursting to kill the ghost is probably the best case scenario we can really hope for right now. Um, yeah, we got the double shielding. And we save our juggler like this. Kronos is just gonna get smacked. Uh, no matter what I do. Like, I could even... Part of me even thinks that we let this ghost live so that we can get rid of this for next turn. But I don't know. I, I, I think probably not. Obviously, Kronos is dead. Wow, what a way to start this, huh? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Soldier, please roll this. Though I guess I don't even know how it would save us at the moment. Two mana? Heal three, shield three. Like I, I could, I could live this turn. I think if I did that, I, I, everybody's dying. Everybody's dying immediately. Immediately. Like a five damage smack. I can't even get the ghost because the war chief has too much health. I could take this preemptively and hope. You've got to be kidding me. Heal three, shield three. 
We can protect the disciple. One, two, three. Two, three. Who's most important here? I guess the soldier. But we're probably dead regardless here. I think we've just lost. I genuinely think the game spawned us into a, into a loss. Unfortunately. Yeah, uh, five damage AoE. That's not going to go very well. This is not going to go very well either. That's not going to save us from Jack's squat. Revive, I guess. Man. We'll revive the juggler. They can't play this turn, but guess what? They are not going to be able to win by themselves. And I literally just don't have any other tools to do anything, so... We have to get lucky, I guess. And by that, I mean it's not possible. Especially not if we roll our... 1 and 6, especially not if we roll our 1 and 6. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. We only have one blank side. I rolled it twice, then I rolled the 1 damage, and I rolled the 1 damage and hit the war chief. That is just the pits, man. Oh my god. Extreme. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. Yes, I'll do another run. Holy crap, that was gross. My god. Alright. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, we got both sliced and then diced. So we'll get all of that. Get old rat. So what is it? Two, three? We can do that. I mean, I think we just get the goblin out of the way. We don't need to worry too much about this. The first fight really is just, it's a freebie. For the most part. Could you lose somebody? Yes, absolutely. You could. You could. With bad rolls and, like, no strategy whatsoever, absolutely. But it is unlikely. Okay, here we go, man. All right, back at it again. Vampire, two damage and self heal two. Heal every ally by one. You take one damage, grant one empty max HP this fight. I mean, that's pretty good. Heal five is good. Infuse heal two to all allies. It's not bad, and we already play with the the uh, the Myco, so I'm going to just go ahead and take that. I'd say. Oof. That on turn one is kind of fun. But yeah, the vampire is weird because they're the defensive class, but they're kind of like a little bit more uh, self-centered, which is interesting. Ideally, we get the wolf to, to... Wait, we could do that, yeah. Two, five, okay. It's fun that everybody's max HP goes up as well with the vampire. I like this class. I like this class a lot. All right, good, 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 good. We'll take all those. Good. I forgot about these dang hotkeys. Thank you to the lovely person who reminded. No. No escape for you, stinky rat. Alright. One empty max HP, one maxed stored mana. Big shield, replace the leftmost side with shield four. I almost want to do that. Since the vampire is not that much of a defensive character right now anyways. And I will need one. I do like mana though. Obviously the defender, it's, it's an upgrade for the defender, but it's a pretty boring upgrade for the defender. I'm going to hit you with a random. 
Swap the top and the bottom side. That's that's for later. It just doesn't doesn't really do anything right now. But yep, they're they're swapped. They're swapped. Trust me. Doesn't do anything right now. But it could later. We could get something fancy later. Uh, yeah, I think we sweet take those. Maybe we should have taken the sword damage. Yeah, what am I thinking there? Go big. Yeah, all right. Going home it is. Go ahead and block here. One wolf down. That's rough, though. We don't really want the mage in one-shot territory. Yep, in one-shot territory from the archer. Five heal, I think, is irrelevant at the moment. Nice. Arch. Okay. Here we go. What the? Bard. Bard is a defender. Shield one to all allies. Cantrip. Shield two bonus equal to your current mana. Here's the thing. I don't think I can... I don't know if I can go for an AoE shielder. Charge... Wait. Charge shield. Bonus equal to your current mana. It's, that is good. It's just, I can't, I don't think I could do that with one die. Rogue, one damage poison, which is poison's overpowered in this, really. Uh, can trip, damage is good. Cruel, times two damage versus half or less. I'm going to go with the rogue. I will absolutely go with the rogue. Ah, uh, yes, don't don't worry. I'll, I'll make sure those are continually swapped still. I will make sure of it. I might be able to I might be able to finagle something here. You're both attacking, huh? We gotta kill the wolf. Okay, so I think we can always undo. We don't get the benefit of the cruel, but I'll be honest, staying alive is a pretty solid um, uh, benefit here. I think that is good enough for me. We can just go for bursts at the moment. Or I guess we should go for flare always. Flare does five. If you have four mana and you're only going to be doing damage, you might as well flare. Okay. Garnet, plus one to all incoming healing. Uh... Ay, ay, ay. It could be nice. Immune to she- wait, what? Immune to shields plus two max HP? That seems terrible. That seems... I could maybe make it work on the vampire, but nobody else. I'll, like, I'll take it. It's It's not bad. Definitely taking that. The poison, it feels like it's not maybe a, not too long of a fight, so I don't think we're going to want poison. I feel like I always want to roll past cantrip. Okay. Yeah, this is only going to be relevant when enemies start to have like a little bit more HP. My god. It was Alpha Strike. Win a fight on the first turn. Oh my god. Soldier or Evoker? I just played with the Soldier last run. Four damage to the topmost enemy. Uh, 
I mean, this is ripe for, like, having slots replaced by items. You know, like, if we could get some other kinds of upgrades. It's absolutely ripe for that. Man, the bandit. Bandit. I freaking hate the bandit, man. I'll say turn, turn one. I'm happy to go for that. Rogue barely taking damage here. I'm not going to go for that. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We get you to three left, which I can do. Wait. Could we, um... First of all, we'll do that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh. We'll, we'll back up if this, um, is necessary, but I think that that's a, yeah. That's an overkill. I'm liking this setup. I was liking last setup, too, though, so we'll see. All right. Vowel? Idol of Ayu. Plus one max HP for every vowel in your name. What the hell? One, two, three. We got plus three there. Two max HP, two max stored mana. I don't care as much about stored mana. Like, I like stored mana, but I'm usually fine with four. Across the board, this is mostly... Mostly just plus three. Two. Three. Three. I mean, three HP is cool. I'll, I'd rather... Okay, I will take Droopy Hat for the two. Who's got my lowest HP? My fighter. I just want them all to have... Barely even amount there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so... One, two, one, two. Boom, boom, bow. We have a kill on one. Basically, when they are three health away from dead, I can, uh, <laughs> I can kill them with a two damage move. Is sort of all that really is. No, you, no escape for you. There we go. Okay, there's the monk. I regret not or that I switched off that the monk that one time there. Brute, three damage heavy, three damage heavy, two damage self shield, stun. Mm. Monk, three, uh, self shield for three and redirect an attack to you. Repel. I kind of like the monk with the vampire's penalty immune to shields thing. I like that we have, we could get cleanse. I'll take the monk. I'll take the monk. All right, big AOE there. We'll see how we fare in like a little bit of a, uh, a longer term fight. We'll just hit with that. Do better. That was rough. That was rough. It makes sense on the evoker, though. I, I gotta admit that one at the very least. Uh, we have to take this to save Christmas. damage self heal I 
I mean, you're going to die. Monk will die on this. No doubt. If I steal that. Otherwise, the vampire dies. That's annoying. If we get enough armor... We could save the vampire. Uh, maybe, actually. Let's just... I'm just gonna do this just to see where we're at. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. It's just far too much damage coming in there. The good news is I think we're... Fine. It's a little bit sketchy, though. Vampires gotta die here, though. We can't shield anyways, because that that passive we picked up. Do we want to spawn an extra Slimer? Or not. We'd spawn it before next turn anyways. How do I feel about this? Let me let me look at it and see how I feel about it. Slime Queen could potentially die. Alternatively, we could potentially kill it to drop that way. Yeah. I mean, I was just... I was not going to be able to block nine damage that turn. Unfortunately for us. This is not going well. Okay. Two mana. That That's drop if we want it. So we have four damage coming in. I can kill this. So, if I kill that, Monk stays alive. Fighter still is dying. Rogue. Rogue lives. Fighter's the only danger, one in danger. I can probably stop. I, I don't think I need to protect. Okay. Oh, interesting. Could we... One, two, three, four... No, we can't kill with drop. One damage to all enemies attacking targets. Everybody's attacking the monk. So that's actually pretty good. I think we take this. I think we just go go ham. Oh, that was so lucky. That was so lucky. Because then we can just drop. That was so unbelievably lucky. And we'll get that there as a cleaner threshold. They all got their proc? Oh my god. Slimelets. Why? Why, slimelets? Very good, very good. It's a lot of damage coming out from that. I have to roll these both and just hope for a little bit of a miracle. Much better. Much better turn. Much better turn. The fact that we were able to get out of that okay with how absolutely uncool the first turn was there hidden emerald kill 10 slimes great and i'd do it again immune to poison add self heal to all mana slash mana gain sides oh i'll take that sounds nice
This is a uh, this is nasty though. Fnatic does some big burst damage. Okay. They've got perfect lethal on a lot of uh, my <laughs> my fools here. Probably okay with that. Man! The perfect kills on the fighter and the monk, huh? Perfect kills on the fighter and the monk. Makes this pretty awkward. We could protect the vampire and then shield ourselves, but then the monk dies. Let's hit a reroll. Come on. That's the one. That was, I was gonna say, no way. Okay. Finally, finally. That feels like something going a little bit more our way. Obviously we have a little bit of danger here now, but that's okay. That's a full protect. Um, and what else do we got? Fighter. We gotta be careful. We, if we attack the imps, we're gonna be taking some big damage. We need to protect the monk a little bit more, because the monk can save us a little bit more. We maybe save our mana for infuse. Because the a two damage burst and a two damage shield isn't gonna do anything this turn. Like a, a shield obviously is tempting. Sure as hell seems nice right about now, but like I think this is a, actually a more manageable turn. Good. Fanatic's going for the Evoker. Wait, I'm actually okay with that. That, don't, that doesn't bother me. Could kill Bones. We got four damage coming in. It's going to kill the, uh, the Rogue. But if we do this... Well, if we do that, then the Fighter dies. Who's doing poison to us? You're doing poison. I think I'll have to infuse. Can I do infuse drop maybe? We can do in we can do infuse and drop. Then we could protect somebody else instead. So infuse is just a big heal for everybody. Drop kills the person who's targeting the vampire. Don't have to protect them anymore. Evoker, I'm just I'm okay with that. Makes it so the monk can protect the rogue. Alright, I like that. I think this can be rerolled. Maybe this is just fine this turn. Nah, I want damage. Alright, okay. This is silly. Infuse. Fantastic. Drop. Okay, this is now what we're working with. I do want to protect over here. I think that's valid. Um... You cannot attack anybody. Do we do this so you can? I guess so. Fanatic kills itself there, and then we just have the imp left. That, that was pretty well handled, all things considered. Oof. Collector Berserker. Pain. Do four damage, you take four damage. Why? Times two if you're dying this turn. This seems too much. Take four? Do four, take four? That's not worth... 
It's not worth four damage to take four damage. If it was do four, take two, I would I would say, yeah, yeah, it's probably worth it. But I think I'd rather go for the collector who is basically just, I have a ranged attack, I have poison, I have a cleave, I have a double attack, I have a self-shield attack, I got a big attack. What more do you want? Oh my god, I didn't equip that. Or did, was it on? Oh no, it was just on the other one. I'm good here. The rogue has the ability to uh, to vanish. So I'm okay with that being their thing there. This looks good. Oof. Three damage and exert. Dies of taking four more damage in a single attack. Do I have... I don't think I have any way to do that. That was awful. seen that one coming but we can uh we can save with this which comes first the healer or the uh the damage two damage self-heal it sounds like it maybe comes in reverse i'm gonna take the poison i don't know how we're gonna be able to get the zombie attack um okay attack just to see what it looks like i think that we just do it i genuinely think that's fine Good. <laughs> Man, going from uh, one shot killing, you know, fights to this is, is rough. Drop is amazing. This is actually really nice. This is a. This protects us. Wait. This might actually be... This actually could be everything we need. So we need to... First... Do that, sure, I guess. Wait, no, we want to do it like that drop snipe nice i knew there was a right order there <laughs> it was it was awkward just it's uh, unlikely to get lots of ways to you know hit the back line sometimes nice looking for the double smack you know what he'll he'll he'll, he'll just cuz Good. Five whiskey, two max HP, six empty max HP. Or an eight hit adds self shield to all damage sides. Wow. I guess maybe the collector? Or wait. If that works on the rogue, that's pretty fun. It does. It, I didn't know if it would work on uh, on cantrip. Cantrip plus self shield. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Why do you hate my rogue? So that does count as giving us a self shield. That's really nice. None of that protects, but between can't protect yet still. 
I would imagine the rogue is going to... Okay. Huh. I think the monk would die, right? Maybe? Nope, we're good. That's good, because I, I really, really want to go for that. Why does that... What? I didn't know that, that that blocks that hit, too? That seems so backwards. But yeah, uh, Poison on Spiker is just so nice that I really wanted that going right now. I may kill the Slimer instead first. It's probably a good call just to get them out of the way. Yeah, two damage, and then they're gone here. Okay, so nobody's dying. Oh, God, it's so nice to have a turn where nobody's dying immediately. That feels amazing. Uh, I can't protect anybody with the monk right now. Oof, not really what I wanted, but... One, two, okay, so we got 13... Could I? One, two, one, two. And we could shield for a billion. I think it's just not it. Attack there, just don't don't die. Okay. That works out. That interaction is really funny. Don't hurt yourself. It's okay. I got gotcha. you. Should be fine. Shield, whatever. Damage, sure. We're just looking for big number funny at the moment. Does this kill the collector? No. Okay, good. Not bad. Blessed Ring, 10 achievements. H5, unlock five heroes. Scoundrel. What the heck? Is that a new starting? Are these new starting classes? I think these are new starting classes. Student. Ooh. Buckle. These are like a little bit riskier stuff. They're a little bit riskier. I like it. I like it. Oh, that's fun. A little bit spicier, riskier starting uh, starting characters. Okay. Monk. Yeah, keeper. Five shield steel. Bonus equal to this current shield. Shield two, repel two. That could be good. Add self heal and self shield to target sides this turn. Oh my god. This character is... This character seems amazing. What is this, though? Two damage rampage can be reused if it was lethal damage. I mean, if I could have the brawler and the keeper, because this does bonus damage based off of how many shields they have, um, that'd be incredible. But alas, alas. Let's go with the keeper. All right, let's do the, uh, the we'll do the rotten fight. We'll do the rotten fight. Because, honestly, it could lead to our death. That's that's why I'm thinking it might be a good call. Because we might genuinely die. Uh, two mana, I think, is pretty much perfectly acceptable. Three damage and exert. I could kill one of the bones... I don't know if I really care that much about that. I'd rather get a poison, but like that's maybe. Speaking of, I'm taking that. It's good enough. That's good enough. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. That's not good. 
That's not good. God, that's annoying. Evoker has self heal. Which makes me wonder if it's maybe fine to just accept that damage. I may I may regret that very, very shortly here. Plague. Max HP down. Oh vampire. Oh vampire. There we go. Good. Very good. Uh very good, very good. I like all those. Come on. Come on. I'll take it. Saves us a little bit. We're good. I think we I think genuinely, I know it may seem premature, but I think that turn settles it. That was just very effective. Very, very, very effective turn there. Don't know what else we would really want out of that. This is okay, and I don't really want to chance randomness right now. That's huge. That's a, I mean, it's very much a dead next turn kind of vibe. Here's the issue. The vampire does not allow me to shield them. <laughs> so I can't save their life. <sighs> that jerk. All right, well, fine. I think I have to get rid of that. Ron dies at the end of the turn, unfortunately. So the vampire does die. But now all we have to do is deal with this, which is... Okay, I think we have to get rid of that. It's just so bad. Oh, that's just fun. Boop. Boop, four shield. All right. What do we got? Add single use and era. Oof. Single use, replace it with a blank at the end of the fight, or after using it, plus one at the end of every turn. I mean, that's pretty wild. Plus one to middle left. I mean, that's kind of fun on the vampire move if we change things up, or it's fun. Actually, it's really fun on the rogue. And we can obviously remove twiddle. Um, I'm trying to see what else we got here. Single use cantrip probably really doesn't work how you would want. I don't hate it on the collector. But I'll be honest. I like this. And replacing that. I, I think that bark skin probably, I think it sucks, probably. Either way, that is that. That is going to do it here for today. We'll be back at it again tomorrow. Man, I can't believe that um, that fight they threw us into immediately today. Absolutely disgusting. So much, so much harder than boss fights. Sometimes you just get normal fights where the setup and the way they roll right away is just so much tougher than a boss. It just happens from time to time. Alas, alas, though, that is that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you're going to have to let me know in the form of a comment down below. That's serious when I say that. I mean, if you want this around every single day, that's what you're going to have to do to help support it. Uh, hopefully, we'll get the pace up so that we'll just be able to do one per ep like one run per episode. I think that'll be the ideal. Um, but last, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.